Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move row to multiple worksheet based on drop down list or cell value. Okay, now let me explain what I am going to do. I have a workbook open here and I have four worksheet one named master, the second one is completed, then pending and cancelled. These three worksheets empty right now. In the master worksheet, I have data and in column C I have a drop down list where I have three value completed, pending and cancelled. Okay. Now once I select completed this row will be moved to the completed worksheet. If I select here pending this row will be moved to the pending worksheet. If I select here cancelled this row will be moved to the cancelled worksheet. Okay. And each row will be placed in the next empty row. Okay. So remember one thing this is our source worksheet which is master and these are my destination worksheet which are completed, pending and cancelled. So I hope you understand what I am going to do. Move data from a source worksheet to different destination worksheet. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> First, we need to prepare our data like I have prepared and then we need to click on the developer tab. If you don't have developer tab, check the video linked here and you will learn how to add developer tab in Excel. Once you have added your developer tab, click on visual basic, click insert and then click module. Now you will need to write a code. Okay? This will be the first code. Here you can see the sub name is move to completed. Okay, that means it will move data from the master worksheet to the completed worksheet. If I minimize it, you will see this is the master worksheet and this is the completed worksheet. And that code will also trigger if I select here only completed or if I write here completed in this way. Remember here I have C in capital letter and rest of them are in small letter. It is important you write this same thing inside your code. It is case sensitive. Okay. So let's go to our first code. So move to completed. That means we want to move data to the completed worksheet from the master worksheet. Now, here in this line, you can see master. This is the source worksheet name. And completed, this is the destination worksheet name. Okay. Now everywhere I have completed that means it is the worksheet name where we will move our data. Now here you will see range C1C. This part is the column where you have your exact text or your drop down. So go to the worksheet. In column C we have our drop down. Okay. So this code will find out if it has any text in column C or if the text inside column C matches with our code. Okay. So if you have drop down in different column, change this. Okay. Now here in this line, this is the text based on which our data will be moved. Okay. And our text will be completed. Okay. So our text and our worksheet name will be the same. If you have your text and worksheet name different, you can do this in this way. Here our worksheet name is completed, here our text will be done. But in our case, our worksheet name and the text name is same. So I am going to write here completed. And here in this line, I need to also write the same thing. So this two line indicates the text based on which you are moving your data and this line and this line and this line. In this three line you have your destination worksheet name and here you have your source worksheet name. Okay. So this is the first part of our code. Now how many worksheet we need to move our data to? I have three worksheet. Okay. So our code is ready for our first worksheet which is completed. Now we need to do the same thing for pending and cancel. Let's do that again. Developer tab, Visual Basic. You can copy this code and 
insert and mojo now write the code again here we are going to move to not completed worksheet we are going to move data to the pending worksheet okay so i'm going to write here pending there is a shortcut way if you use the find and replace option and we have completed and replace it with pending if i click here replace all our code is ready why because our worksheet name and our text are same so if you don't have your worksheet name and text same you need to do it manually okay pending our code for pending data is here okay now we need to do the same thing again because our third worksheet name is cancel okay so insert and mojo write the code and i need to change it to cancel so if i change the pending to cancel it will be done so again find and replace control f and we already have pending here and replace with what is our worksheet name cancelled and what is our text cancelled so copy it paste it here replace all now this code will move our data to the cancelled so our code is ready for all three but let's do something and you can see it is not working why it's not working because we need an automation this code will work if we run it manually or the all those modules we just created those will work if we run it manually but we need to do this automatically that means select the drop down and that data will be moved okay for that we'll need another code and here if you click on your source worksheet actually right click on the name on your source worksheet and if you click on view code you'll be moved here okay where you can see the sheet one or master worksheet or your source worksheet will be highlighted in gray color and a new blank window will open or you can go to the same place click on developer tab click on visual basic and here click on the source worksheet name twice and the same position will be open here you will need to write another part of code this is the code you will need now here we will need to change it something this is the column name where you have your specific text okay so i have my drop down in column c so this i have written the column name c here okay if you have d you will write d colon D. I have C, so I have written C colon C. And now we are calling here the macro name. Okay. Now this macro name is not ours. We don't need it right now. You remove it. And we are going to write the macro name of these three module we just created. The first one was move to completed. You can see I am copying only this part before parenthesis and after sub this part is the macro name move to completed i have copied it and i'm going to sheet one master here and if i paste it here and you can see call move to completed that means if this code finds a text in column c it will call the macro which is move to completed okay so this made the first worksheet automatic but we need to call the other two macro also so let's copy this and change the macro name our second macro was if i click here module 2 move to pending i hope you remember that go to sheet 1 at master and paste it here so move to pending and our third module was move to cancel if i click here module 3 actually double click here you can see the name here move to cancel copy it and here sheet 1 master paste it here 
So now this part of the code will automate our entire task. If it find any text in column C, it will call these three macro. Okay. Move to completed, move to pending, and move to cancel. This is the only thing this part of the code will do. Now here, if we go to move to completed, what will this code do? It will copy the data from master workbook and paste it in the completed workbook if in column C it finds the exact word which is completed. Okay. Module 2, move to pending, what this code will do, it will copy data from your master worksheet to your pending worksheet based on the text in column C where you have written pending. Okay. In the module 3, move to cancel, say so it will copy data from master worksheet to the cancel worksheet if it find the text cancel in column c okay now we have done everything close our vv and now let's try the status drop down let's select here completed and you can see the first row just vanished if i click on the completed worksheet you can see our data has been moved to the completed worksheet okay now let's try it if i select here pending that row has been vanished from here and if i click on the pending worksheet and you can see our data is placed here and let's try cancel and same thing happened and data moved to the cancelled worksheet what if we have another data to pen select that go to pending worksheet and you can see the second data has moved here select here completed you can see it is moved here now let's select cancelled it's just moved here that means whenever we select any value from this drop down list it will move our data to that specific worksheet automatically and place it in the next empty row okay so we don't have any blank cell or any blank line here it will moving to our data to the next empty row that means if i select pending in the master worksheet again it will move our next row here okay let's check that pending and here our next row so this is how you can move data to multiple or different worksheet based on different text or drop down list this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you need the code please check out the link in the description and you can copy the code from there if it's possible please support the channel through patreon and let me know if you need any help thank you thanks for watching